All praises be to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. <clears throat> and shalom to all the sincere Akim out there across the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. So this is going to be a quick hit going in, going into how we as Akim, we as brothers in the faith, brothers in the truth, has to be instant in season and out of season, man. You know, the winter is upon us, man. So, hey, we still have to push this word in our sincerity and in truth, man. No matter the, the weather, man. So with that, I'm going to get into the scriptures. This is the book of Second Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word. Be instant in season. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Council, we ought to be instant in season when it's good weather, man, summertime, so on and so forth. The, the sun is out, nice warm weather. We have to be instant, and we have to be instant out, out of season, man, the winter time, man, especially for br brothers who live, in, who live in colder cities, man, like here in New York City, man. You still have to go out there when it's below 40 degrees, man, below 30 degrees, man. Why? Because this word still has to go out, man. Whether, whether we prophesy into the to, to, to people who's actually out there at the camp or we prophesying to the wind men we're making ourselves uh, our, ourself an example to, an example to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai men we, we offering our bodies as a living sacrifice as, as the scriptures say men out there on the highways and byways no, ma no matter the, the temperature no matter the weather men we out there men Abaratazar so I read that scripture again this is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, out of season, reprove, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Kind of we out when we out there, man, out in season and out of season, man, summertime, winter time, we reproving, we rebuke it, and we exhort it with all long suffering, man. I tell you how about Shemi Awashai close close the doors of mercy, man, and the famine of the word is upon us, man. But until then, man. Abaratas that man, we're gonna be out there no matter the weather, man, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. So this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of, of the cold, therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. Come. So 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 so, so there, there's a lot of so-called brothers in the truth, man, with, with which who, who don't want to go out there when it's cold, man. And Yahweh Shai is looking upon, looking at, down upon you, and he, he's displeased, man. He don't, he don't have pleasure in you, man. Why? Because you, you, you are lukewarm, man. You refuse to go out there when, when, when it's not nice weather, man. Which, which is an insult to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, really, man. You refuse to push his word in season and out of season, man. So I read that scripture again. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty, verse four. four. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. Come, so when Yahweh Shai comes back, man, for, for, for your for your for your guys out there who is not pushing this word all year round, man, what you gonna say to Yahweh Shai, man? You have no excuse, man, because the scriptures plainly say, be instant in season and out of season, man. Not when you feel like, man. So when the time of harvest come, man, when the time of salvation come to the to the elect of Israel, man, and you're not in that number, man. You have no one to blame but yourself. Yeah, and, and that's the scriptures, man. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 3. Verse 16. So then. So like here. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 3, verse 15. I know that works. That thou neither art. That thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou I would thou wert cold or hot. Verse 16. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of out of my mouth. Come. So that's you guys out there, man. Who are who are in between, man. You go out there and, and push the truth when you feel like it, man. When it's expedient for you. No. That that's not how this truth works, man. You have, you have to push this truth once you are able body, man. Once you how about Shimmy how shy it gives you the ability. I put that spirit on you to go out there, man, and put your hand to the plow. Hey, you have to put push the truth 
straight on through, through straight on through until the kingdom is here, man. Ain't no taking breaks, take 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 taking time off because of the weather. No, man. You have to push this truth. Be hot for this truth. Or just be cold and go back into the world, man. Don't be in between, man. You're in the world, one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. It don't work so, man. You have to be 100% dedicated to this truth, man. Living by, 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 by the codes and ethics, man. The last statutes and commandments of the scriptures. So I read that scripture again. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 16. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Come so Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to reject you guys who have one foot in the truth and one foot out, outside of the truth, man. Who, 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 who don't want to go out there when, it, when it's cold weather, man. When, when it's snowing. Hey, man. You have to still go out there, man. Once you have the ability, man. Once, once the Lord permits, hey, you have to still go out there and push, push this truth and offer your body as a living sacrifice. This is the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. Come. So, that, so that's you look warm guys out there, man. You looking back because it's, the weather is not nice, man. You know what I mean? It's below 30 degrees, it's below 40 degrees, 20 degrees out there. Hey, you like, nah, man, let me, let, let, me, let me not go out this week, man. Let me not go out this month, man. Nah, it don't work so. It don't work so, man. Y'all about show me, or should I say, go out there, man, when it's expedient for you and when it's not expedient for you, man. When, when it's good weather and when it's not so good weather, you still have to be out there, man. You can't put your hand to the plow for, for three or four months out of, out of the year and then take your hand off the plow for the rest of the months of the year. Nah, man. Y'all is going to spew you up, spew you out, man. You are not fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So I read that scripture again. This is the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. And you are looking back by st stop stop. You are looking back if you stop pushing this truth during this during the cold months, man. You know what I mean? Hey, and the scripture said so, man. Hey, you are not fit for the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So if you're doing that, man, you better you better stop, man. You better go out there when it's not so expedient for you to go out there, man. You know what I mean? Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, man. So back to the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9. So like at verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Come, so... We keeping the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai all year through, man. Pushing this word all year through. Good weather and bad weather, man. So, so Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is going to keep us during that day of temptation, during that day of Jacob's trouble, that day of martial law, famine, pestilence, destruction, total chaos, man, in America, man, and across the four corners of the earth. The men of the Lord, Abaratiza, I be a part of the number, and you are out there watching, be a part of that same number. The Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to keep us. But why? Because we kept the faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Straight truth. So shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast learned, that no man take thy crown. Kind of, we have to hold on to, to this 100% truth, man. The true, the true, true doctrine. The sincere doctrine. We have to hold on to it. What we have learned from the apostles and elders on down, man. We have to we have to hold on to that, man. Hold on to that for their life, man. And let no man take thy crown, man. Let no man persuade you to come worship other gods, man. Or to sway from the doctrine. No. We stick into the law, statutes, and commandments, man. And the faith in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Straight true. Verse 12. Him that overcome it will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power, and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my from my power, and I will write write upon him my new name. Come to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is gonna exalt those men, men. 
in the kingdom of your house, Bashem Yahushai. You, the men who stick to the pure doctrine, men who stick, who stick faithfully for the doctrine of your house, Bashem Yahushai, you're gonna be greatly rewarded in the kingdom of your house, Bashem Yahushai, in the kingdom of heaven, man. That shall last forever and ever, man. Hey, man, we go, we go, we go, we go get that legendary status, man. As as true warriors, man, tr true believers, man, and true true. True Akim who holds steady to the faith in your how about Shemiao Shai, man? We're gonna have that legendary status, man. Abaratas are man. We stick straight straight truth with this truth, man. And don't and don't look back to this world, man. This is the book of Zephaniah. I probably ended off with this scripture. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, from, for all the earth shall be devoured with fire of my jealousy. And so we have to wait upon the Lord, man. And as we are wait upon, waiting upon the Lord, Waiting upon Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to destroy these nations, man, to bring down Esau, Edom, so called white man, to bring down Moab, so called Chinese, so on and so forth, man. While we are waiting for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to rise up and destroy these nations, what? Well, we have to continue pushing this truth, man. In season and out of season, man. You know what I mean? When it's expedient for us to push it, and when it's not so expedient, man, until the family, until. I think Yahweh Shai makes it that to where is it impossible for us to go out there on the highways and byways, man. We have to be out there, man. Until the famine of the word comes, man. And we're going to know through, through, through the spirit that is the famine of the word. Until then, we have to be out there, man. In season and out of season. Nice weather, not so nice weather, man. That's part, that's a, that's the key part. That's one of the key parts of waiting upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Prophesying and pushing this word. I'm making this word front and center. To the entire uh, to the to the entire world, man. To the entire globe, man. Being instant in season and out of season, man, is very crucial in in the process of waiting upon Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Waiting waiting upon him to judge these nations, man. We have to prophesy, reprove and rebuke these nations, man, and also the wicked two thirds. And we also have to exhort the elect of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Hey, because life doesn't stop, man. The world doesn't stop during the winter time, when, man. When it's snowing, when when it's cold weather, man. Now when it's brick cold, now, man. These people are still out there, man. The elect, the sheep is still out there, man. Waiting to be prophesied onto, man. Waiting to be real into Yahweh Bashem Yahushan. So what? The prophets have to be out there same way. So I read that scripture one more time. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prayer. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even on my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Come. So as we wait upon the Lord to devour these nations, to destroy these nations, and we as Israelites, men of the Lord, hopeful members of the elect, Abaratiza, you have to be out, out, out there pressing this truth in season and out of season. Nice weather and not so nice weather. Cold weather and warm weather. Same way. And with that, I say our praises be to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Nelson who rule well. And Shalom to all the sense of Akim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.